Yeah, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, thank you that I've been here to give you a presentation from solutions for transport and stationary applications. Uh, shall I go a little bit that way? Um, yeah, give you a short overview uh, what kind of solution we present in the market. We are in different market fields in. Um, and we have also, uh, with our different markets, uh, challenges and uh, possibilities, of course. Uh, challenges, uh, yeah, it's of course a different uh, certifications are needed. So we have uh, markets for transport of gas. Uh, we have markets for tank systems, so transport uh, uh, filling systems for for cars and buses. Um, but for all those diff uh, different uh, applications, we need we have different standards, so uh, different calculations behind that makes also the things yeah, different in pricing, different in cost and different in calculations. That is, of course, a, a, a big challenge. Yeah, one of the other challenges, of course, uh, the filling stations, when we talk about hydrogen, where are the filling stations? So there's a, still an investment is ongoing, so uh, even especially in Germany, but uh, when we are looking and focusing on heavy duty, uh, there is a, yeah, there's still a real need in future to have a heavy-duty filling uh, infrastructure for the 350 bar. Perhaps we have here an alternative solution for you in our presentation. Um, yeah, possibilities. Um, we hear from the market, um, uh, from our car manufacturers often, yeah, we lose a lot of jobs in future uh, based on the fact that we go battery vehicles. Um, and I think that is the wrong, the wrong way of thinking because if we start with an infrastructure, if we modify systems in, uh, for hydrogen and battery in future, we need a real heavy infrastructure and there are, we have to have jobs and we need employees uh, for these jobs. So I see uh, that is a real possibility. Um, yeah, se sector coupling, power, heat, mobility, uh, you will see also in my presentation uh, that we have also already uh, uh, different uh, uh, storages available which are uh, placed uh, in house systems, in, in, in huge uh, storage systems uh, behind uh, electrolyzing uh, and, and large scale documentization. So I'll give you a, a short, uh, some words to our company. Uh, we are located in Weze. Weze is near the Dutch border, 40 min uh, minutes by car from Düsseldorf. Um, we have right now roughly 200 employees. Uh, we are more than 30 years in the market. Um, when we talk about containers and hydrogen uh, filling uh, systems, I give you later on a more detailed information. We have more than 350 containers in the market together with a partner Hexagon uh, in the last uh, 10 years. Uh, we have more than 110,000 pressure bundles. So bundles is a uh, yeah, steel frame, steel cylinder inside one pipe, one valve installed uh, in, in the European market. And uh, you see uh, these are the four different sectors where we are. Uh, trailer production, container production is the first slide. Um, we deliver it called Max Multiply Element Gas Containers. You can see it even on our booth. We have a part of this here. Directly on the right side is our booth. Uh, you can also come there later on to, and we can also go a little bit in details. Um, yeah, what we have here uh, uh, developed in the last years is a um, container design. The framing, the assembly, uh, approval and all the things will be done in Weze. Uh, we buy cylinders on the market. We run with these systems with type 4 cylinders inside. Uh, the maximum size is a 45 feet container. This container can cover 950 kilograms of hydrogen. Uh, if we compare it to the tube trailers, uh, what is today on the market for 200 bar with steel solutions, we have roughly three times the capacity and payload of a standard 200 bar tube trailer at the moment. Um, there is also an increase as possible. Um, yeah, the, the containers uh, is a flexible solution because um, especially when you're working with hydrogen, you will also have an issue when you go in your garage and make your maintenance during your service. Uh, then normally you have to purge the whole system into a nitrogen before you can enter the garage. 
that is not the case in our uh, solution. You can put the container from one to the other chassis, go further in service and make your maintenance on your chassis. That is one big advantage. The container themselves is a modular system. So that is not an ISO standard container, what you see in the harbor. So that is really developed and produced in Weetze completely. Uh, the modular system, these are side walls, screwed and bolted one by the other. So um, with the advantage uh, that we have a really proper corrosion protection, the frame is uh, hot galvanized and additionally uh, powder coated at the moment. So uh, there is no, no corrosion issues anymore in future. We have uh, Type 4 cylinders inside, we have a, a stainless steel piping, we have a, a, a hot uh, galvanized framing. Um, even we have some experience with this container in the market in uh, South America. They're running for CNG. Uh, they also had a lot of, yeah, not a lot, they have some accidents, of course. Uh, and with our modular systems, uh, it is possible only to uh, replace some, some side uh, uh, parts. So there's no need to replace a whole frame, only parts can be changed after such kind of accidents. This is uh, another uh, version where we deliver um, last year to a project in the Netherlands, uh, a 40 feet container. Uh, so this container will be fed uh, from electrolyzing, uh, powered by 8,400 solar panels. Um, this is a 300 bar solution. So the maximum pressure in container or trailer can be even 500 bar. But there's a completely different discussion. It will make it more sense to have 500 bar or 300 bar on road. If you're focusing only on payload, uh, then uh, um, it's the 300 bar uh, more cost effective than the 500 bar ones. Uh, the 500 bar trailer, 40 feet, covered 1.1 ton of hydrogen. And I mentioned before, um, the 300 bar version covered 950 kilograms. So the payload difference is not so much. Yeah, the next uh, sector is uh, storage, stationary storage solutions. Uh, we have the individual projects, uh, really uh, small uh, solutions available in the market with uh, 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 requested from the market only with 10 or 12 bundles or even higher ones. Um, we also uh, not deliver uh, the rack only, we deliver the system completely to the customer, including service, including installation on the customer site. Um, we make a complete CE qualification in our company and we are, as a company, deliver also the service uh, to you. So we are not stop our business after 24 months of warranty, so we go further. And the, the next step is also the retesting. So a lot of customers uh, have to dis uh, think about the OPEX costs. Uh, and after 10 years, you have to retest. Uh, we also can bring this service to you and make the retest. Uh, one other special topic here for um, uh, future um, house systems um, is uh, the small storage solution. So that is uh, the PIKEA system from HPS. They are also here on the, on the fair. Um, give you only, uh, only some words to this uh, solution. So uh, it, it's coming up from a, a PV on the roof. You get your electricity. By electrolyzing, you, you feed your buffer with hydrogen during summertime. And during wintertime, it goes the other way around. You take out your hydrogen from the buffer via a fuel cell and go back to your house. So you have 100% uh, electricity in-house and 60% of heat. But much more details you can get from uh, HPS. Uh, that's a picture where we installed this uh, power to gas facility in Wielen. Uh, this covered uh, 1.2 tons of hydrogen modular system uh, based on our standard type 1 cylinder solution. And that is what I told you before. Uh, think about your retesting. We, we can take out only part of it bring it to us, make the, make the retest, bring it back. Only to, uh, we don't stop your service, you can uh, use your buffer 24 hours, seven days. Yeah, tank system, mobile refiller. Uh, so we have also other topics, we call it tank systems, where we deliver tank systems for heavy duty application. Of, key, of course, uh, one of our uh, main product is now the, the Alstom train. 
um, where we deliver the tank system together uh, with Hexagon in the past as a lead. Um, and we, as Wistar, will deliver um, in future the next 100 train systems from Wetzel for this alternative train, hydrogen train. Um, also for buses, uh, we deliver already since 1995 bus systems in the market for CNG. Uh, up to now, we have roughly 500 systems a, uh, per year. We also uh, developed uh, EC34 approved um, um, buffer system, tank system for VDL. They are also here on the fair for a bus where we uh, store 350 bar of hydrogen inside for the range extender. And this is our Y refueler. We have a module on, on our booth. Um, the system here is uh, placed in a substudy from uh, Interac. Um, the aim here was bring a hydrogen truck to the fleets in the future. How I bring my stuff in the future in the city, with what kind of truck I shall use. And uh, the alternative can be, of course, a truck with a range extender. And when you start up with that and bring the truck to your fleet management and say, you can test the truck, and then the question is how I can feed it. So what shall we do? And therefore, we are in that project in. Uh, we produce uh, here a refiller system. Um, the give you only a short idea. In that design, we cover roughly 400 kilograms of hydrogen, 300 bar. This is the refiller themselves with a 500 bar busher, uh, buffer. Uh, with a compressing, though in case of filling trucks, you uh, connect it with ho the hose. Then we press a button, start filling. First, the, the gas comes from the tank container, and at a certain level of 250 bar, the system switch over to the 500 bar buffer and fill the truck of the maximum pressure of 350 bar. The truck will leave. In the meantime, when we have no truck there, then we modif the system modify by themselves with a compressing because we have your cascades inside, the system check where is the low cascade, compress it to the high cascade again, and refeed the 500 bar buffers also again with the compressor. That what I told you before, the slides show you know a little bit in detail how is that working, and how we have also uh, of course uh, all the safeties around. Control 24-7 service is behind, otherwise it doesn't work. And the last uh, is our service, of course. Um, so that is also what I mentioned in the beginning. Um, when, we, when we talk about new designs, new systems, especially hydrogen, is for a lot of people pretty new in the market, then you have to come up even with a service to support your customer. Yes, yeah, thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Wolfgang Volta. Are there any questions from the audience? Okay, then uh, let me have the first one. You're in the market since quite a while, a lot of yes. experience. Um, you are in different industries, so what do you see um, for the future about the standardization? What are the struggles? Where do you see it going in the future? Do you see a change? Yeah, right now we, we, we have these different markets, these different sectors. And uh, if we have a transport solution, we have different safety factor, then we have uh, a solution for a tank system. And at the other end, uh, we talk about high pressure system. So what we did in the past, not for standardization, but we try to use the same cylinder in different applications. In our transport module, it's the same cylinder inside, then for the coming trains uh, solution, and even for one bus project, we lose, use the same cylinder. So that means in prototyping, we save directly money, make it cheaper in prototyping already, and bring the system on a yeah, low level on market. So that, that the, the end user uh, have less cost at the end of the day. Yeah? So, and, but standardization is a real an option. So if you have one pressure, one design, and then we have to find a standardization for all of them. Yeah? Then, I think uh, we had a presentation before and there was also mentioned that it's actually a push from the market, from the industry towards yeah, the research okay. side to say we need standardization to actually scaling up in the yeah, future. So that yeah, so that's good yeah, okay. that we come there. Thank you very much. Are there any further questions from the audience at this time? If not, the booth is right next to uh, yeah. the technical panel. Uh, please join uh, for further discussion and thank you again for your presentation. Thank you. Bye-bye.